What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. I'm chilling with my boy Sanchez. Hey, what's up, guys? What's up, what's up? So, uh, as you guys can tell by the title of the video, we're just going to be showing you guys how to improve your first touch. We're out here. We're at Algonquin College right now. We're going to get the session in, and then we'll just be posted up after. But hope you guys enjoy the video. Remember, if you guys are new, make sure you guys like, share, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button right now. Help your boy out. We're trying to get to 250 subscribers. So, do that right now, and let's get the video started. Let's do this. All right, y'all, so we're gonna get right into it. As soon as you're done with your dynamic warm up and your stretches, whatever it is that you like to do to prepare yourself to train, I usually get into one touch or two touch passes after, and it's really simple. So if you don't have a partner that you can pass to, you can use a wall or you can go outside. It doesn't really matter where you are, but this usually takes me from 10 to 15 minutes. And like I said, it's just to get you ready. So it's just to get you loosened up uh, and get ready to train. Alright, so as soon as you're done with your warm-up, with your touches, and you're ready to go, I usually like to get into foundation touches. So as you guys can see, I'm just touching the ball in between, I'm keeping it at my feet, I'm staying light on my toes, I'm trying to get as many touches as I can, and you always want to think about it. it's not it's not about going fast, it's about getting as many touches as you can. So it's keeping your eyes on the ball, staying focused, and, and, and getting your touches in. Alright, so next up we have the toe taps, which is really simple. As you can see by Sanchez, what he's showing you guys, he's just alternating legs. He's touching the ball with the bottom of his foot. And it's the same concept with the foundation touches, right? You don't want to be going too fast. You want to try and focus on getting as many touches as you can and keeping that ball under control. All right, so the last one I wanted to show you guys, I call it the Samba Toe Taps, and it's really simple. It's You're doing the same technique, but you're just alternating and you're twisting your hips. It's just one that I do for fun, and I wanted to show you guys. It may be challenging for some, but if you want to give it a try, try it out. Let me know how it goes. All right, y'all, so once you got your warm-up in and you got all your touches in, you'll be ready to go. As you guys can see, I'm setting up the cones. If you do not have access to cones, you can literally use water bottles. You can use whatever you find. You can use shoes, and you also don't need a lot of space, okay? So this is the sequence that I go through. I try to do it every single day, uh, and if I don't have a partner, you can use a wall also, and you can find different variations. So I'll take you guys through the sequence. I'll put the reps and the sets up on the screen, and I'll let it play through. Okay, so for this one that you guys are seeing now, my angles aren't the best, so you won't really be able to see the ball. You'll be able to see my footwork, and you'll also be able to see some of the touches that I get on, but it's just going to be the volley. So you're basically working from the ground up. You want to try and get as many touches as you can. Okay, you go through the reps, and you go through the sets. You try and push yourselves. Try and stay focused. Keep your eyes on the ball. As you guys can see, I'm going through the cones there. We're doing thigh volleys, so just working in and out. Like I said, you're working all the way down. So you start with the ball on the ground, and then you work your way up.
right, so for the last sequence, you guys will see it. We're just working through the cones, working to pop the ball up, just working on your two touch. Okay, for this one, it is a bit more challenging, but I encourage you guys to try it. As you guys know, we're trying to elevate all 2020, right? So we want to get better. We want to push ourselves. So try this one. It's a really good one. I pop it up. I usually do the inside foot first, and then I also do the laces. Okay, so Sanchez will show you guys also here. He's being focused. He's getting that pass right back to me. So try this one out and let me know what you guys think about it. What's up, y'all? So we just finished the drills right now. We're just kind of getting into a game of two touch and cooling down a little bit. But I hope you guys can take a lot from this video because for me, it's helped my first touch improve a lot. And it doesn't take much, right? You can have a partner. If you don't, you can use a wall. It's really simple. You get out there, you do the work. Okay? Like I said, for me, it's helped me improve my game so much. And I think it can bring a lot of value to your game, right? For me, I'm still improving. Okay? So I'm out here. I'm putting in the work. You guys can do it too. Believe in yourselves, right? Remember, this year, we're focusing on elevating. We're trying to elevate, right? We want to get up. That's why, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you subscribe, okay? I'm trying to get to 250 subscribers by the end of two weeks. So subscribe, hit that button. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys liked the video. Yo, let me know in the comments what you guys would like to see more. Let me know uh, if you guys are enjoying the videos, all right? Thank you guys. Peace out. Ain't no issue. Gotta stick and move. Can't afford to lose. I hate trying to prove many things. I can really sing on what I'm really introduced to. I just stay quiet and really grind. That's what I'm used to.